Hello, today we are going for a walk in Ferrien and Portlow, walking towards Portlow. It's a little harbour on the coast, pretty little village, still used as a fishing harbour today. Let's have a look at the walk. So I've dug out my favourite walking book, our classic walks in Cornwall, 60 circular walks. Today we're doing number 34, Very in Portlow and the Jacker. It's a nice little walk, it takes us from Very in with the round houses. We'll have a little wander around the village first of all. And here's our walk directions. Turn the page and there's a bit more of our walk. Let's have a quick look at the map. So we'll be starting here at Varian. Park the car there, it's, it's easy to park, there's toilets. There's a pub there and there's a little hotel that offers cream teas as well. We'll be walking down here. There's a, as we enter Port Low, there's a pub where we're going to, we're planning to have lunch and we come along the coastal path for a bit and then back towards the village. So the walk is four and a half miles, takes two and a half hours. Let's see if it's a moderate walk as they've graded it. Come on then, doggies in the car. Even four, my gorgeous. Oh my gosh, hello. Hello. What are you doing, eh? Where are the round houses? Oh, there they are, look. There's one. Aren't they so cute? So here are the roundhouses at Berrien, originally at the entrance of the village, built by Jeremiah Trist in, in 1818. They've got crosses on the top and they were round to ward off the devil. Having no corners it was felt he couldn't hide anywhere. So Trist house must be a big one. We've got a little lodge house here and just opposite the vicarage the old elms houses Again with the round detail. Aren't they just so cute? That's the fifth round house built behind the school. There's no cross on that one. No. Right, let's read our first instruction. At the memorial gardens next to the church, take the pond side path indicated Port Low by a Trawatha. I would say it's down here. <laughs> Our next instruction says pass through a kissing gate into the playing fields, leaving right across a stream and a stone stile. Oh. 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 Cross the field diagonally to the right of a large tree, aiming for the top corner of the field. There's the tree. Okay, so we've climbed up over the field. <laughs> it's a good walk, isn't it, Andrew? <laughs> a small metal gate leads to a stone stile and a footpath through the woods. Brilliant! Oh, this is so cute. Through the woods. Distant farm buildings. That's where we're aiming, Emily. Okay. Are we going to put them on though, darling? Because yes, there's cows yes. in the field. Okay. Yes. A Frenchman's beret. So we can see the roundhouse in the distance there, the cross on top. So we've just come diagonally across the fields, the cows weren't worried by us at all. Next instruction says pass through a metal farm gate and follow the farm track past some farm buildings and the disused Trawatha Chapel. Yeah, there's the front of the chapel, which has been converted into a house. Beautiful. At the road junction, turn left and then right following a public footpath indicating Port Low. It says continue along the lane between some houses. Footpath. Straight ahead, I think. Oh, well, are you prepared to retrace your steps if it's wrong? No, no I'm not. <laughs> and on between hedges, noting the outline of Dobman Point in the distance. So there's Dobman Point. The road bears around to the right, to the middle of a farm building, before turning sharp left, indicated by the yellow footpath marker. So we're going to bear left. Down here. No legs. There's oh. the cows. They're so cute. They look quite young, don't they? A track leads down between these farm buildings, through a gate, and eventually reaching two adjacent metal gates. Pass through the left hand gate and proceed ahead with the hedge to your immediate right. Cows in this field. Dogs on lead. <laughs> Hay bales with sheep in that field. Dogs on lead so they don't worry the cows. 
and a glimpse of the sea between the bushes. We don't want any cow chaos. <laughs> no, no cow chaos, Millie. Yeah, I'm watching out for cow cats. <laughs> yeah, I think I've already stood in one. Yeah, you quite are. slippery, aren't they? <laughs> right, so we've just gone through the cow field. They've been fine. They weren't worried by us. Next instruction says, descend to cross a stone stile before bearing right diagonally across a field to a metal gate. Ah, oh, look at that view. Dogs are struggling with the stile. Oh, Millie's having to lift them down. Well done, Ems. What a hero. So descend to cross a stone stile before bearing right diagonally diagonally across the field to a metal gate that leads on to what appears to be a private driveway next to some houses. It certainly feels like we're going wrong but this is what the instructions tell us to do. Bear right out of this close to turn sharp left onto the main road descending into the attractive fishing village of Port Lowe. Brilliant that means lunch. Lunch yeah. Wow holiday home or permanent home? So cute. As we come down the valley, there's a very welcome sign. The ship in. Hopefully we're not too late for lunch, Millie. <laughs> no, we've just found out our pub is shut. Perhaps we can find a cream tea in the local hotel. Yeah, they're done. Yeah, thank you. Do you enjoy your lunch? Yes, yeah, right, thank you. That's very nice. And um, your ten pound sandwich, how does that taste? Expensive. Little harbour at Port Lowe, so pretty. But we're going up the path to the coast. <laughs> Where are we going, Andrew? Mm. Up there. Right. Up there. There's the Lugger Hotel. Oh, my crab sandwich was lovely. <laughs> Very nice. Top <laughs> spot. Unfortunately, we didn't eat lunch here in the end. Yeah, we actually abandoned the idea of eating in Port Lowe, retraced our steps, took us an hour. <laughs> Yes, we did. <laughs> and ended up getting something. We had a magnum for lunch from a village shop in Tregony. Crazy talk. I enjoyed my Maltesers ice cream for lunch. It was the best lunch ever, wasn't it? <laughs> and so much cheaper than an eight pound sandwich. <laughs> that I wouldn't eat anyway. So there's the old lifeboat house. Now it's been converted into a house. It's still got the slipway in front of it. Oh, wonderful. Bumbly. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Just to stop them going over the edge, eh? Let's go. Okay, continue to the path junction, bearing left indicated by the yellow waymark marker. This is quite steep, isn't it? Yeah. Is it making you puff? Yeah. Yeah, me too. So the next set of instructions <laughs> says the coastal path continues through gorse and blackthorn bushes with gold rock clearly in view offshore. Dog camp. Hello. We're just heading towards Minaire Point. Halfway on our coastal stretch. Where's Minaire Point then? Can you point to Minaire Point? Oh the pokey thing coming out the out the sea. Yeah. Okay. Then it says cross a wooden stile to follow the coastal path as it heads towards the large white property at Broom Park. To warn me? Oh, it is a bit steep, isn't it? It's not a nice style, that one, is it? It's very blustery there as well. Follow the coastal path as it heads towards the large white property at Broom Park. And we know that that was used in the Camomile Lawn, quite a, an old um, drama now from Channel 4. There's an adaptation of a war novel. Next instruction, where the path rises to meet another path, Turn sharp right to follow the track past Broom Park and onto the metalled road. Continue on the road ahead towards the hamlet of Camels and to reaching the crossroads. Continue straight over, signed very in half a mile. Sheep! Oh, cute! After approximately 300 yards at a row of trees, turn right onto a public footpath indicated to very in. Cross a wooden stile and turn left to follow the hedge boundary. Water trickling down, and although it says cross a wooden stile, we seem to now have a gate. Let's hope it's the right one, eh, Millie? We're going to pass over a further wooden stile to descend through woodland, exiting via wooden stile into a field used earlier on the walk. 
Our final instruction, turn left, returning to your car via the Children's Play Park and Memorial Gardens. We've just come into the churchyard on a bit of a wild goose chase really. Just wondering if we could find the grave of Jeremiah Trist. We expect he'll be near the church somewhere. Wow. Very grand with the pillars. That's Jeremiah Trist. Vicar, 1829 to 1874. Yeah. Bingo. So we had a lovely walk today from Varian to Portlow. It was a lot less muddy than I remember. Unfortunately, the pub was shut, which was a bit of a dampener on our day. We were so looking forward to our pub meal. Never mind, maybe next time. Um, we still completed our walk. Very happy to have done so. I would thoroughly recommend it. So all in all, a lovely day quite warm as it turned out we were expecting it to rain most of the day